Hey, welcome back. So today we're going to be drawing King Kong. We're drawing royalty today. So, or Kong, should I say? He's not. He's not called King Kong anymore, is it? It's just Kong. He'll always be King Kong in my head, though. <clears throat> right. So I am on a landscape orientation page. My page is real big. It's A2. I just do it for A2 for the camera. If you Google A2, you'll find the proportions. Like A3 works as well, A4. You should use a pencil and eraser for these. So I think A3 would be a good size for these. That's just my opinion. But A2 works, A A4 works. They're all the same proportion anyway. So, and it, I think A the A2, A3, A4 thing is kind of, it's a European thing. So whatever the equivalent is in the States, I'm not sure. So, but just some people were asking. Okay, so let's go. So center point of my page is approximately here. We go up and then we're gonna start with his frown, right? So he's got like a big frowning brow line. So like here, so it like curves around, right? Like this. And then it goes like over. Like so, okay. And this has like extra sort of wrinkles and things on the inside of it as well. So lots of this kind of wrinkly stuff. <laughs> it's the only way I can describe it. It's wrinkly stuff. So like, you know, lines like this coming up from his eye. And this roughly goes down around here, right? Comes around the side, like that. And we have another one of these over the other side, right? So we just go down around again. Over, his eyes are underneath, right? So. Roughly same sort of shape. Like that, and then we can add a lot of those wrinkle lines on it as well. Something like that anyway. And he might have these sort of bags underneath his eyes as well. Right, so. He's a frown coming across the middle as well. So this sort of bumping line comes up like so, right into the middle, okay? And then his eyes are in under here. So we're just gonna go what we can see of his eyes anyway. There's not a lot, so we can just see a sort of a curve line here. His eyes are real small compared to the size of his head, right, in here. And this is like his tear duct in there. And then, not that he cries, King Kong doesn't cry. <laughs> and then, his iris, sort of a half circle just underneath here, and then a pupil staring out under his brow there. Okay. And then the other eye is pretty much the same thing, so we just go underneath, cross, and back to there, and then we do iris just like the half circle and the pupil all right and then there's all details and wrinkles and things 
around his eyes as well. So you can add like bags under his eyes. All right, so then more sort of lines coming out from his eye. Lots of these sort of wrinkly sort of lines. Okay, so then his nose, right? We'll get the main sort of part of his nose in and we'll join it up to the eyes because there's all these frown lines and things and wrinkly sort of lines, right? So his nose kind of looks like a love heart. Right, so it just like curves around here. And it's real like big and chunky sort of. Like that. So this side should be actually a bit wider. So it goes underneath his his eye on both sides, right? So it comes to there, roughly. Okay. And then we have like a dark portion on the inside, right? So I'll just use this line. It's just like this. And this is black. Right, like so. And he does have wrinkles on his nose as well, so. When you make a mistake, see if you can use the mistake first. And it works out. Okay. And then, some more sort of dark nostril area here. They don't have to be the exact same on both sides. They're not in the picture I'm drawing from, so. Like so, and he might have like a little bump coming across here. And then some more sort of wrinkly areas. Coming down this way. Like the middle of his nose. And then we got like a line here, a line there. And again, more sort of wrinkles on his nostrils as well. Coming around his nose. I think he has a scar in his nose actually here as well. And does he have a scar up here? I think he does. I'm not sure. But I'll add, I'll add it anyway. More scars on King Kong, the better anyway. Right, so then his nose, right? So we've got like sort of the bridge of his nose and some lines that come out from that. So we've got like a light line that goes up this way. And then like lots of wrinkles that come across. And there's loads of wrinkles then that come down like his cheeks. Sort of this way. Right, so then his the side of his mouth, right? So he's got that um, ape-like sort of um, sort of curve to his top lip. So it like comes out here, right? So it curves around like this. And this might this side might be a little bit wider, but we'll see. Comes around about here right 
and in here he's doing he's doing a sort of a growl with his teeth right so we got like his this sticks out here so we've got like his top lip right so it's like this his top lip there and it'll come across and down like so and there's a tooth that comes across here and then it comes down like that and then the bottom lip comes over so it's gonna go like this and up into the side there then we got more teeth inside so we got another big fang just there and then the other fang sticks down and goes into his tooth here and then we got like lots of small teeth coming across so like this kind of stuff two ones in the middle like so and then this comes across to there and then more sort of teeth along the bottom. So just kind of sticking out. These ones are not straight. And there's a bit like shadow in here, shadow of for his mouth in here, in between these teeth, just a darker sort of area like a darker area here as well like so right so then what we can see of his bottom lip so we can't really see much because it's like it's it's hairy right so we've got like maybe like a line for his bottom lip just like here somewhere right and then there'd be all these like wrinkle lines and things coming up. Like this kind of stuff coming up from his, his lip, right? So a lot of apes and, and chimpanzees and things have a lot of these lines. Okay, not so much on the bottom lip, but like maybe a little bit. Okay, so now our boy Kong has pretty much got a beard and like lots of hair coming around his face, right? So we've got, so like his beard is like all the way down here, right? So we got like all this hair coming around here and it comes out from his chin as well. So it's like, we've got like a, this sort of segment here. And it all goes into like his his face. So it's like it's fairly part right close to this. Okay, so it's like pretty much joins this sort of area a little bit. Just here. It goes up around his face and it goes up underneath his cheek as well. Right, so it's going to go like that way. And it pretty much goes around like a hairy sort of line. It goes all the way around here. Pretty much touches this brow area. All right, like that. And then his, his beard then sort of comes down the side, right? So it joins his face. So the beard goes out in like this block-like fashion. So it goes out, it's not like round. It comes out to like, it's got like a angled sort of area. Like 
that okay and then it'll go up his face again here right so it's real sort of blocky and we got like all these texture lines and stuff hairlines coming down like that So he's a real grizzly looking guy, right? All right, you pretty much do this over the other side as well. So, and you add texture if you want. You don't have to add texture to his to his hair, but you know, sometimes it can help. Right, roughly that. Okay, so then, so he's got um, his ears are kind of in behind his head, right? So he's got like another sort of bumpy sort of hair like so it's like this is like hair here on top right that comes across like that right so that's like hair and this is gray skin Okay, so in here is all gray skin. This is brown fur, right? And then his ears stick out from the side of his head, right? So, like side of his head, let's see. So roughly, yes, yeah, so we got like an ear here. Right, like so, and then an ear somewhere over here as well so we might just give him a bit of extra fur just there for maybe like the side of his head and then this ear comes out roughly the same doesn't have to be the exact same but you're just looking for that roughly same shape remember how far does it come down Kind of like in line with his eye, maybe. And then in there, I always say the easiest way is a letter J, like that. But you can always add more detail if you want. Now, his head, so again, we're going for like a hairy sort of, you know, this kind of thing. You're not, you're, you're, you don't want it to be smooth. You want it to look textured, right? Going up this way. And we'll bring it around then up the top, right up near the top of my, my page. So, and he has, so he is a chimp. Well, he's a gorilla, but he, like he has an extra, you know, they have like bumps and things and he's got hair growing up the middle of his head as well. So this kind of 
stuff just going up there. Right, just roughly. Just some texture and fur and things. Right, so then that's pretty much his face. So then his shoulders, right? So he's got like these big, crazy big uh, trapezius muscles and shoulder muscles, right? So comes out pretty much from up here. Trapezius, right? Goes that way. And then trapezius, same sort of thing, roughly same height. Right down like that somewhere. You could have like just some lines just showing where his shoulders meet his trapezius. So like this is all like fur and stuff like that, but you know, we should should curve in this way. Right, so and the shoulder will come down real hairy. So it comes down just the side here, hairy sort of line, and pretty much the same over here. So so it should be up here somewhere actually. Like here, I think it's trapezius is a bit low, so the other shoulder is just about here. And it's, I'm going to move his trapezius, this trapezius, up a bit, should be up a bit higher, I think. So it should be like there, yeah. Sorry about that. I'm just going to raise that line, so I think that looks a bit better anyway. So we want them to roughly be in the same sort of shape and size. And then his shoulder comes down. Like so. Right, so then we'll do some more of that shoulder sort of stuff there. And then his chest. His chest are like uh, his chest line comes like right down the middle here, right? So from underneath his beard. Just like so, and then the top of it, hairy again. Comes down, like this way. This is like his shoulder as well, and his chest muscle just comes down off my page. That one, you might have some more sort of fur for his shoulder muscle that goes that way. Maybe we should see some trapezius here. You know, and some rough texture for his, on his shoulder there. I think there should be some texture maybe on his, I forgot on this side of his beard as well. Okay, so same thing, pretty much do his chest, hairs coming this way. Shoulder comes down and the chest will just come around here. Like that, right? Do 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 do. Right, and this should be sort of hairier, I think. And then, should we see some, yeah, trapezius there? And some more sort of hair and stuff texture lines just on him as much of that as you'd like to do of course 
Right, so and he's got uh, some nipples just here, just these sort of circle lines, like so. And then he's got like three big scars, right? So smaller one that goes into the middle of his chest here. And then comes out the other side, sort of there, there somewhere. And then a bigger one comes up this way, goes right up to the top of his chest, back down. And then another one here. Across to the side. Back down to there. And, you know, maybe some like chest muscle sort of fibers sort of coming across. Like so. It's like the side of his head. So just sort of cleaning things up. That's all. That's basically it, I think. That's how to draw the king. this way right that's it I think it's the best I can do I hope it was helpful maybe some scar lines just in here you know just to sort of show that it's more like scar tissue Okay, that'll do. King Kong. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.